In a previous video, we provided a style guide for diagramming most models. In this video, we want to discuss which statistical test to use in which situation. Obviously, this won't cover all situations, just some common ones. Remember that all statistical tests have assumptions, and you need to meet those assumptions to use that test. Just because this video suggests using a particular statistic doesn't mean that you're absolved of the responsibility of testing the assumptions of that test prior to employing it. Last caveat. Other videos in the future may address issues relating to polynomial regression, regression with non-normal distributions, or what to do when assumptions are violated. It's too much for one video to cover all of it in one go. Okay, here goes. If you have one categorical predictor with only two levels and a continuous outcome variable, you're looking at an independent samples t-test. If it is a repeated measures situation and you only have one group who you test before and after some intervention or wait period, it is a dependent samples t-test. If you have one categorical predictor with more than two two levels and a continuous outcome variable, use a one-way ANOVA. If you have multiple independent variables predicting a single continuous dependent variable, you have options. I tend to prefer using multiple regression. However, others prefer two-way or n-way ANOVAs if there are categorical predictors. Regression procedures in most programs like SPSS or R will spit out an ANOVA table for you anyway. Why not get the additional information pertaining to specific parameter estimates, R-square values, and a adjusted R-square values as well as the option to create a predictive algorithm and assess predictive accuracy. ANCOVA involves using at least one continuous predictor as stated in the situation above. Keep in mind, with either multiple regression or ANOVA slash ANCOVA, you can keep adding predictive variables, but the more complicated your model, the less statistical power you have to work with. More on power later. If instead your outcome variable is a categorical variable with only two levels, you'll use a logistic regression. You can use logistic regression with as many predictors as is reasonable, given the caveat mentioned before about power. If your outcome variable is categorical with more than two levels, use discriminant analysis. If you have multiple continuous outcome variables, use either a MANOVA or MANCOVA, the difference being whether one of the predictors is continuous. And there you have it. Those are the common tests we use. Keep in mind, many of these have repeated measures versions. Remember my caveat about changes in level of measurement, linearity, normal distributions, violations of assumptions, and repeated measures. Check the links in the description if your situation was not covered in this video. Those excellent resources may provide more information about your exact circumstances.